Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video it is Pits and Peaks Day. So if you're not familiar with this style of video on my channel I talk about things that didn't go so well for the week being my Pits for the week and things that went better this week being my Peaks for the week. We're going to start with the Pits first so we can end on a high with the Peaks. Uh, for Pits this week I don't really feel feel like I have any anything. I feel like things have completely swung the other way around. So obviously last week, if you'd have seen my video, all of my um, things that I spoke about in that video were pits. I didn't really have any peaks to talk about. The week just didn't go very well last week. Um, and I feel like it's been the polar opposite this week. Um, so I guess we'll move on to peaks next because that's all I have to talk about this week. Uh, peaks, I have done one run this week. Obviously it could have been better. I do plan on doing a run today. Uh, whether that happens later on we will see. I'm a bit headachey at the moment which is why I didn't go out for a run this morning but I do plan on doing a run later. Um, but I have done one run this week that's better than last week because I did no runs last week um, so I'm taking that as a win. Uh, so yeah that is that. Uh, I have been doing 10k steps every day since uh, last Saturday so I am on eight days. Uh, obviously it is a quarter to nine in the morning so I obviously haven't got my 10k steps for today uh, but I am fully in the challenge with Maria. Maria has been keeping me motivated because she's been doing her steps um, and most of the time she's been doing it quite early on in the day so uh, it's sort of been giving me, that, giving me that push not to let her down with the challenge if you get what I mean so uh, I've been doing my 10k steps every day. It does mean that some days I have been walking around the house, I've been marching or jogging on the spot while I've been waiting for dinner to cook and things like that, but I have been getting them, so um, yeah, really happy with that. Uh, tracking wise has been really good as well this week. I have been on track every single day this week. I mentioned last week that I was really struggling with the snacking side of things. I have moved the snacks to a different cupboard, so they're not in the same um, sort of like larder cupboard that I would usually go to for other things that I need for say dinner and things like that um, and just in general I've been a lot more focused with my weight loss this week so even though I know where the snacks are it's not been something that I've reached for very often. Um, I've been very busy at work so I haven't really had time to snack and things there and I've kept my sort of meals very simple and um, yeah, just kept them sort of on track and then sort of dabbled with snacks here and there throughout the day. Uh, but for the, yeah, I've been on track all this week. I'll show us your screenshot here so you can see my seven day view. Uh, but yeah, every day on track this week. That has been then moving on into a reflection of my weigh in this week. So I weighed in today, this morning, and I am down 1.6, I think, if I've done the math correctly, which I probably haven't because I'm absolutely terrible at math. Um, but I think it's 1.6. So I'm down 1.6 pounds this week. I was down slightly more yesterday when I weighed in because I weighed in early for some reason um, and I was down a little bit more la yesterday than I was today. But even still, it's still a loss this week. So I'm really happy with that. And hopefully if I can get in a few more runs next week, it will go even better. So we will see what happens with that. Um, in terms of next week, I... I'm going to have to be very mindful. I have my mum and my sisters and my nieces coming towards the end of the week and over the weekend. So it is going to be sort of very difficult to stay on track during those days because I don't know what our eating is going to be like during that time. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to sort of mitigate that throughout the week, maybe bank some calories throughout the week um, and get in some runs so that I can sort of bank more of a deficit leading up to the weekend. So... We'll see how that goes and obviously it's Philip's birthday next week as well so we're going to have cake next week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to be extra vigilant with my calories, uh, make sure that I'm tracking everything and try and just get in as much exercise as I can. Obviously I'll still be doing my 10k steps every day so that's fine uh, but yeah, for the most part I'm just going to have to be extra vigilant. Um, I don't think I really have anything else to touch on other than obviously the fact that I feel like there's been a complete switch from the previous week. I do feel like I'm in a really good headspace this week. I've been really focused. I have um, 
thought about things more before I've done them. So I got into a really bad habit at one point where in the morning before I went to work, which was probably like half five in the morning, I would have a snack before I went to work, even though I know I'm gonna have my breakfast when I get to work, um, which I got into a really bad habit of. And that's not really good when you need those calories elsewhere to eat them at five o'clock in the morning when really you're actually not hungry. Um, so yeah, there's been a couple of times where I've gone in the cupboard and thought, oh, I'll have something before I go to work. And then I've said, well, no, you don't really need it at half five in the morning. So I am making really good positive changes this week. So hopefully that will continue into next week. Um, have another good loss, maybe, um, or even just to maintain my weight would be great given what plans I've got this week. Um, but yeah, we'll see how things go. I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to keep it really short and sweet uh, for once. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can always click the notification bell down below and be notified of when my videos go live. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've got any pits or peaks for this week. Let me know. But other than that, hope you're all staying safe and well. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, whenever it is that you're watching this. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.